Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a favourites video. I didn't do one last month and it's always the way I felt like, oh, you know, I've only got a couple products to talk about. Whereas now I've got, not loads, but now I've got like loads to talk about, kind of. You'll, you'll see what I mean. I've got options. Basically, I, in September, there were type of products that I liked and then I've been playing around with that type of medium. That just sounds confusing. Let's just jump into it, shall we? <laughs> what I have been loving base-wise is stick foundations. So the story behind it is, I wanted to use up some products that I had lying around and I am terrible for using a product, liking a product, and then when I'm like towards the end, stopping using it. And then, yeah, just having it hang around for ages, which is, you know, not ideal. So I've been on a bit of a kick of trying to use things up because they're good products and I don't want them just sitting in there not being used. You know, I bought them to use them. Anyway, so this is the L'Oreal stick foundation, the infallible one. I think they only do one. Uh, basically it's a cream foundation in a stick form and I have been loving these. So yeah, this is one that I was trying to use up and I've just really got into the habit of using it. Uh, and also the issue with stick foundations is they kind of, you go through them quite quickly in comparison to liquid foundations, but they're super duper easy to apply. You just sort of like dash it on your face, rub it in, and it gives like a nice medium coverage, but it is really buildable. So if you wanted to put an extra layer on or put extra coverage where you wanted to, it's super duper easy and handy and quick. And I feel like it gives really good coverage for basically day or night, any situation. I've been loving it. So this one's really nice. I've been using the color 100, but then for when that one runs out, I've been really enjoying them. And that's the only stick foundation I have at the moment. I bought another one. This is by ColourPop. This is their No Filter Sticks Foundation, and I'm using the shade Fair 27N in this one. This is what I've got on my face today. And I mean, there's a much of a muchness between them. There's not a ton of difference. They're both sort of like a satin finish, I would say, on the face. It's not too matte, not too dry and it's just really comfortable, really easy to use, and I have just been loving these. So it's one of those things, if you're making a ColourPop order, I'd recommend this one. It is, I believe, cheaper than this one, actually. But also, if you're not making a ColourPop order, this one's, they're both good options. This format in general, I've just been really enjoying using. So, big thumbs up for me. Sticking on the options front, so I'm gonna start with this palette here. So this is the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette, and very specifically, I have been loving this color here, which is Ouch, which is like an orangey, tan, mid-toned brown color. And I have been loving just shoving that all over the eye, uh, one color wonder, and then using just liner, mascara, good to go. And yeah, that's what I've been dipping into this, which I realize this is a very big palette to do that. But that's sort of, I don't know, it's something about both the formula and the tone. It was just very autumnal and what I wanted to play with. And this palette in general, I would say is, really good for this type of season, like the type of colors that it has. Uh, I'm a big fan of oranges and reds, and so this one delivers. But also, if you want another eye palette option, if you've watched my last video, I'm not gonna stick here too long. It's the Whatever Palette by ColourPop. Uh, and again, it's very similar. This is definitely more pinky, less red, but it is very seasonal appropriate. It's what I've got on my eyes today. And yeah, if you wanna see a, a video of me playing about with this and swatching it and all that stuff, I'll link that down below. It was also my last video. Yeah, I've been using this basically every single day. So um, I've been really, really enjoying playing with these sort of tones. I mean, ooh, I mean, I wear this type of color all year round, but I just feel like this time of year, it's like amped up to the next level. And yeah, I'm a big fan. Would recommend both of them, depending on price point, all that fun stuff. They're kind of, they're in the same family. They are different and there are differences, but they're both good quality wise. And I guess it depends if you want more of a pinky one, more of a red one, but there's definitely some oranges in there as well. The last makeup product that I have to talk about is another ColourPop product. I made a massive ColourPop order. I've been playing around so, and it is showing in my favorites that I've been playing around with it. And it's what I've got on my lips today it is Halo Effect, which is one of their ultra blotted lips. I'm a big fan of the Lime Crime plushies. I was kind of hoping that this would be kind of similar, and it is. Uh, I would say this has more of a, if I say oily, that gives you the wrong impression, but it's got like more, like it's got a bit more of a thickness when you're applying it on the lips. The, the Lime Crime plushies, they feel really thin, which is nice. Um, and this definitely has a bit more like of a oily gel texture to it, which is also really comfortable. This color though is what I, I have been absolutely loving. So as I said, it's what I've got on my lips today and it's like a standard neutral, but it, so it goes with everything, but it just has a little bit more interest to it. It just has a little bit more of a depth for my skin tone and it has a little bit of brown, a little bit of pink. It's just 
really wearable, really nice, but still an interesting color. And I have literally worn this every single day since I got it. So I couldn't not talk about it. I think out of everything, maybe this is my favorite product of the month. I just, every day, I'm just excited to put this lip color on because it just ties everything together. So would recommend to a friend. Next up, I've got a couple hair products to talk about and they're both from the same brand. This is Salon Graphics. I picked these up in Boots. Let's start with this one because this is why I tried these products out. So I, what I will say, although they are Boots products, they I think they're both $7.99 each and I definitely got them on offer. Would recommend hanging around until you see them on offer. But what I wanted was a more budget-friendly texturizing spray. I've tried the IGK one, I've tried the Orbe one and as beautiful as they are, they are over 20 pounds and I just, for this type of product, some styling products can last a really long time. So I would, I am happy to invest, like styling creams, I'm happy to invest in them. But spray products, I find I go through, and again, because I've got so much hair, I find I go through them really quickly. So I was trying to explore a more budget friendly option. And this one, although it's not four pounds, it's eight pounds, which, is better than 20. Uh, anyway, this is the Do It All 3-in-1 Dry Texture Spray, and it's really good. It says that it does three things, three-in-one as it says, uh, volume, refresh, and hold. So it says it's a dry shampoo meets hairspray. It's not, I, it's not a dry shampoo. Uh, it might add this sort of like body that you kind of get like as a secondary effect from a dry shampoo, but I wouldn't use this as a dry shampoo. I would use it as a texture spray. I would use it as a finishing spray if I just want that like gritty texture in my hair. And also if I've like curled it or straightened it or anything, like I feel like this gives it a nice bit of texture. So I'm a big fan of this one. What I find with other drugstore texture sprays is they're basically hairsprays, which is fine if you want a hairspray, but if you want a texture spray, you want that little extra grip. Whereas this definitely does have hold like a hairspray, but it does add a little bit more grittiness, a little bit more lived inness. I just, for my hair, because my hair's so long, I'm, I'm in dire need of a haircut. <laughs> I like to dance that line of a long haircut and uncut hair. And I feel like I'm, I'm in the uncut hair realm at the moment. So that's definitely on my list of something to do. But for me, because my hair is so long and that's kind of the style, I just like looking like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. That's kind of my look like, oh yeah, whatever. This is my hair. And it takes a lot of effort to look at this as nonchalant as it is. Anyway, I'm a big fan of this one. Would definitely recommend if you're looking to try out a texturizing spray, but don't want to spend almost 30 pounds on one. Uh, but then also because the deal that was on, I think it was like buy one, get one half price or buy one, get one free. Uh, I picked up their dry shampoo as well. I'm, I use dry shampoo basically every day, whether it's as part styling or to sort of prolong a wash. Um, so I was like, might as well try that out too. Uh, and I do really like it actually. So the thing is with this one, it is very light in the hair. It's definitely on the lighter end of things. So for me, I quite like this one for specifically my fringe. Uh, it's very fine. And because I have such dark hair, you, can, you cannot see it, it's indetectable in the hair, but it definitely does freshen it up. For the rest of my hair, like sort of I'm putting it into the roots, like underneath the top layer of my hair, I'm still happy to go with that good old Batiste, but um, because this is a little bit more expensive, but for my fringe, I think this is great. So if you have dark hair and a fringe, I'd 110% recommend this. But yeah, I've actually got some in my fringe today and like you can still see that it's like shiny and it looks super duper clean, but it's actually, it's this. Um, this doesn't add necessarily shine, but it, yeah, my hair looks clean. And if you've, if you've got a fringe, if you've got dark hair, I would definitely recommend checking this out. So I've got one fashion favorite to talk about, and I swear I've spoken about this before, but I couldn't find which video I'd spoken about it. So I'm talking about it again. Is this jumper by American Apparel? So this is their cropped fisherman knit in, as you can see, black. I got this earlier in the year where they had a deal on. These are quite expensive to buy as they are. But I can tell you for free, American Apparel are always having discount codes, deals and stuff. So uh, particularly if you live in the UK and want to ship it over, which is what I did. Yeah, this is beautiful. And I really, do you know, I remember at the time I was toying about buying a grey one at the same time and I wish I did. But this is just, oh, it's just so, A, comfortable because it's just like a nice baggy, like a loose fitting jumper. But just the cut of it is so nice. I just think it just hits me right on my hips 
perfectly and I can like tuck the front into like either my jeans or my trousers or whatever I'm wearing so like literally a little French tuck with this on like it's comfy it's seasonal appropriate so it's going to keep me warm but it also looks really stylish and doesn't make me look frumpy or anything like that so I'm a big big fan of this jumper I have it in a large I believe yes I do but I think if I, I want to order another one um, I think I'll get it in a medium, not because this is like too big or anything, but I'd like to see what it looks like, it's just a little bit more type thing. And I've also lost weight as well. So um, yeah, big fan of this one, love it. I, what's funny is I did a massive uh, dark swash yesterday and I was like, I wanna keep this out in part to film this video, but also in other part because, because also that's the thing, like if I'm just like around the house, I will just chuck this jumper on. Like it's just so easy, so versatile. I mean, I know it's a black jumper, but this is just, there's something about it. There has always been something about American Apparel. Cuts, colours, they do that so well. And um, also, if you are ordering from the UK, you know everything you're paying beforehand. You don't have to go to the post office and pay an extra X, Y, Z to get it delivered. The duties are all sorted out beforehand. And oh, I'm a big fan. I am a massive fan. I do have one lifestyle favourite to talk about and it is my alarm clock, which sounds strange, but stay with me. I have a Lumi light, which is an alarm clock, which basically you set it as you would in the morning. And then half an hour before the alarm goes off, it slowly lights up. So when you wake up, it's not pitch black. And for me, like I, sometimes my alarm is going off at 4 a.m. So it is, pitch black when I wake up and I have found since I have started like really properly utilizing it like I have found getting up so much easier I think and particularly because we're going into those winter months waking up in the dark and getting home in the dark it, it's it can make you feel pretty low um and it's yeah I'm just a massive fan of it it just yeah particularly when my alarm's going off really early in the morning it I think it helps no end and I feel like if I didn't have it, I would have slept through my alarm several times. Um, but yeah, so what it does, it lights up and then it does make a noise when you've set it for the time that you want to get it up. But also, I don't, it's something about like it gradually getting lighter that it just like, it's a lot less harsh than just like a loud noise that's waking you up. I would 100% recommend, particularly if you're somebody who has early shifts like I do, or yeah, just struggles to get up in the morning in the winter time, I would really recommend having a look. Black Friday's around the corner, so you can probably get it on sale. Uh, I got mine on Amazon. I got mine ages ago, actually, but I'm still loving it. Anyway, that is everything from me today. I would love to hear your favourites down below, and I shall see you soon. Bye!